My name is, as you know, Martin Nobel, and today we're going to be looking at Mac OS Sierra, which is version 10.12 of the Macintosh operating system. So one noticeable thing is it's no longer has the X like OS 10. It's just called Mac OS. This is one of the biggest changes they rolled out in WWDC yesterday. So as you can see, the X is no longer there. Instead, it's just a picture of Sierra, which is another mountain on Yosemite. Version 10.12 beta developer preview one. Now the main feature about this is Siri. And this is the first ever OS, Mac OS to have Siri built in. So we're actually gonna tr try it out. What is the weather in America? Is the weather for Washington, District of Columbia, the United States, between today and the 23rd of June 2016? Well, I'm actually going to change the speaker of this to uh, American female. And I think this is the generic series, so. Um, open notes. Sorry. Open notes, and it's just ad advanced. So now that my notes have opened, I'm actually going to, it is directly synced with my iPhone as well, using in notes as well, since we're connected with the same iCloud account. I'm actually gonna delete this, and I'm gonna type up something on my iPhone. And we'll see how that works. This is a test one. So I've copied it into the clipboard, so it should also copy into the notes as well. And with command, we're actually just going to paste it this way. Paste. And it says it right there. This is a test one. So that's notes. Really useful. And we also have the notorious iCloud drive. So in fact, for iCloud, I could drop things into the iCloud and it will pop up in my computer and vice versa. But for some reason, I don't use iCloud and I prefer Google Drive. And if we got AirDrop and all the other ordinaries, we got Safari, which hasn't changed much either, actually. But you can use tabs, and Split View is better than ever. Split View now works with more different kinds of apps as well. So in fact, I'm going to open maps and do split view with that. One, two, easy. So that's basically it. That's OS 10.12. Besides the fact that you could now have a, a video playing in the background, there's not that much different compared to 10.11 and the biggest update in OS 10 Yosemite in 2014. But I still think this is an excellent build of the new Mac OS and putting Siri into it is the best part of it, of the system because it simply just makes life way more easier. Knowing that Siri now works not only on the iPhone and iPad, but it also works on your Mac. So there you have it. The one other thing I'd like to say is it, it will only work on Macs made 2010 or late 2009 depending on what compute Mac you use. So all the 2007 DDR2 RAM or even the early DDR3 RAM uh, Macs, you can't upgrade to this version. But anyways, nothing more I can say. Thank you all for watching and see you all later. <laughs>